Welcome one and all to SideQuest. We are going to the Academy for real this time. Promise, it's happening. It occurred to me between episodes that there is one character I'd missed in our little, uh, visit tour yesterday. Topes. But, um, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not going to go see Topes. I don't want to give him the key we have anyway. And, oh, that's cool here. You can actually see, as the sun rises, you can see it start hitting more and more of the academy here. And it's kind of doing it in increments, too. It's neat seeing the way that they technically kind of manage time of day to make it still, like, uh, performant and all that. Because, yeah, like, unless you were looking right at that and not moving the camera, not doing anything else, you wouldn't notice that it was just sort of, like, ticking <laughs> across the sky. That's really cool. Anyway, we're going in there today. We are here, and we're just going to progress through here because we haven't really explored the Academy Gate Town. It's going to be a little dicey going in from this side. There's, like, a lot of cannons facing this direction. We might have to eventually warp in here and clean the place out, enemies <laughs> kind of from the inside out. But, uh, we'll make it work. Let's start looking around. We've seen all of this generally sunken stuff. This is a very strong weapon. <laughs> it's doing pretty well for me right now. I wonder if I can climb this stuff. Get inside any of these sinking buildings. Bet it would look cool. Maybe not possible, though. You think the stuff would be breakable, but <laughs> fair enough. Let's try to not miss anything too interesting on the way in. Uh, I really get the suspicion that at least one of these sunken buildings will be enterable. Maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like such a great place to hide things. Yellow. Forgot about the cartwheels. Silly me. What's the strong attack like on this? Okay, same as the, uh, same as the, uh, greatsword. Cool. At least that's nice and familiar. Okay, well, if I can't get inside these buildings, at least I can get up on top of some of them. Hello. Where are you? Oh. Hey, a chest. I'm having that. There we go. And an item. So, what do we got here? Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook. Number four. So... I always forget where these go. Key items? Yes. Okay. Uh, Magic Pot. Nice. And Shield Grease. That's a pretty good one right there. Magic Damage and... Better Magic Defense on the Shield. Even though this one should be pretty good. On that front. Nice having it, though. Yep. Anything on the roof? No? Okay. I'm pretty sure I found and grabbed this earlier, yeah? Probably? Yeah. Already got it. I've equipped myself with a new kit of spells to largely forget to use. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. We got Bestial Vitality as, uh, kind of my main top slot one for a easy, accessible regen at any time. Uh, Flame Cleanse Me to get rid of, uh, 
poison and scarlet rot, a poison mist, uh, magic fortification, since I know where I'm headed, uh, dragon fire, which I can apparently use, bestial sling, and the flame of frenzy. Just a frenzy attack move. So it's quite a, uh, quite a variety of things that I'm excited to uh, try out. Stop it. Hey, crab. Wow. Tearing him to shreds. Got some strong weapons around here. Hey! I didn't see you up there. Little sneak. Can't hide up there. Hmm. Don't think any of my stuff is that long-range spells-wise, so let's just, uh... Can I not... I should check and see if I can actually upgrade the Hand Ballista. I keep on not seeing it, or at least not noticing it in the uh, smithing menus, but I'm sure it's in there. Uh, okay. Sure, whatever. Here we are. Uh, nope. Further up. Come on. Mm, gotcha. Nope, I said gotcha. Haha, -ha, you're doomed. Gotcha. Charge forth. Oh, cool. As long as I'm here. Wow, I got some strong poison resistance really feels like. Or I guess I just wasn't standing right in the middle of it. Still, though. Being ruined up really has its advantages in terms of health and stats and all that. And additional, uh, additional rune shards? Is that the name of them? Rune arcs. Additional rune arcs are pretty easy to get off camera, too, because, uh, I've been mostly getting those by, uh, like, uh, putting my sign down so people can summon me for boss fights. Which, that's a really easy thing to do off-camera without risking progress of any kind. And, uh, any time we win, I usually get a rune arc out of it. As well as a little extra experience and practice and stuff, so... Running short on those shouldn't be too bad a concern. Hey, fellas. I'm here to invade. And I have this great shield. And a really good weapon. Wow. <laughs> Don't know my own strength. Oh, boy. At least these are shorter range, right? They're not the, like, long-range bombardment tools that Stormvale was throwing at me. Oh, didn't see y'all there. Got distracted. My bad. Yellow. This great shield, like, enemies are going to be bouncing off of the, this and getting staggered so easily. Need to drop the crossbow. I'm rolling a little heavy here for no good reason. If you're going to roll heavy, it should be for a reason. Okay. Let's start exploring a little more thoroughly now. I'm so excited. It's not easy to roll perfect 20s on stealth checks when wielding a great shield and huge halberd, but I make it work. Hmm... Hello? There's gotta be tons of enemies over there. Just out of view. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh hey, I snuck around. Good for me. Nope. Gotcha! Oh, this is going great. 
Don't shoot fire at me, please. Thank you. Bonk. Oh, right. Also this. Get backstabbed! Oh, you can do it! Nice! Oh, that went great. I don't know why the backstab didn't work last time. I'm glad someone in comments mentioned that it is possible, else I wouldn't have tried it again. Okay. I haven't been over here yet. Anyone? Even just the outside of this place is huge. I guess if Stormvale Castle was any indication, we will likely be here a while. Oh. Hello. Oh, you're one of the crones. Okay, yeah, let's, uh... Hear your thoughts. Can't remember if I've spoken with you yet. You... Please... I can read them. Your fingers... Please, your fingers... Oh, bless you... Oh... Michaela's favor can be yours. Slaughter, slaughter, slaughter. The all hearing slaughtered. But alas, it was for naught. Huh. But all you need do is snatch it from the big pot. <laughs> Pity the poor, poor fool. <laughs> Cryptic, but still, thank you. Appreciate it. So... Anyone still wandering? Oh yeah, there's one. How goes? Anyone else? Ah, I see. Volunteers. Eh? Uh, nope. No shoots. Hmm. This is such a beautiful looking game. Frum's art team is just incredible. All right. I think we have effectively stormed the gates here. And it's just about time to open that big door, finally. Hey, nice. And also, hello. Didn't see you before. Anything else hidden back here? No? Great. Okay. It's time to get ourselves in here at last. After literal weeks wandering these swamps, the time has come. Didn't think that's how that was going to work, but cool. And here we are. Oh, cool. From this side, you don't even see the gate. Just a big illusion. That's awesome. And then, yeah, then you can go out this side and honestly, kind of tempted. So I got... How did I get here? 
This is that one's underneath the bridge, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Kind of want to wander out now, see if there's actually anything just hiding out here now. Uh. Oh. Dang. Yeah, it launched me all the way out here. That works. Uh. Hey, team. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to be all the way out here. That wasn't the plan. Cool, though. So. This is interesting, because I was expecting that, like, this key to function more like an actual key. And now that I've gotten in here and got a grace fire lit, maybe I don't need the key anymore. Maybe that's... Maybe I can give it to Topes, uh... without losing access to this place. Possibly. Let's finish what we want to in this place first. Maybe find another key if possible. Here we go. Into the academy. Mm, big elevator. Pretty. I'm going to like it here, I think. Wow, man. Gorgeous. It's like the exact midpoint between... Uh... Oh, what's the Bloodborne Town? I'm blanking. You know the one. And Irithyll. It's gorgeous. I like it already. And awful quiet. I feel like I'm hearing something weird. Oh. Little stairs down here. What do we got? Okay. Oh. More. Maybe not. Hello? Academy! Nope. I've been noticed. Get bonked! You and your weird headwear. Thanks for the robe. Nice place. Oh boy. I see. So, the automatons are the Academy's thing. I guess I did sort of suspect. <laughs> Gonna need better than that. Ow. Yeah. Bad roll timing. It's fine. You guys, statue heads are goofy. Just to be brutally honest about it. Hey, nice. Convenient. Wonder who these portraits are of. Might as well. Well. Let the exploration begin. And let's try to not get too wildly lost. I'm 
I'm guessing this one's gonna be a good bit easier than uh, Castle Stormvale ended up being, if only because I was a lot more thorough checking out other places. Like, Stormvale probably would have been even more manageable if I had done all the Weeping Peninsula stuff first. All right. Cool. And Patches did mention that there's a thing we should try getting caught by, like at the bottom of all that, I think. Still seems like a terrible idea, but... Why would Patches lie? And getting screwed over by him is always funny. Yeah! I've been grabbed. And bitten. Don't bite me. Oh! Look at y'all popping up out of the ground. I think that little magic zombie actually, like, stole some of my FP. It's possible... I used some moves... ...that spent it earlier, but... ...I wouldn't be surprised. A grace mimic. Anything hiding up here? Yeah, I figured I couldn't bring Torrent in. Just had to try. Hey, did it anyway. And nothing. No. Well, let's see. Nope, he does steal your FP. Oh, look at that. Jerk. I need that to use moves and spells and stuff. Oh, I need to actually equip the thing. <laughs> haven't even equipped it. Uh, haven't really had a reason to before now, to be fair. There we go. Gotta pay better attention. Not get caught off guard by those little sneak attacks. Oop. And there's a bunch of them. Come on, guys. Maybe fire. A lot of it. Wow. That's so much fire. That's more fire than I expected. That was very expensive, but very cool. I'm gonna need a much higher mind stat, uh, it turns out, in order to be able to cast more spells. As it turns out, spells are fun. Yet another thing I'm gonna have to start pouring points into. Alas. Fun spell, though. Worth it. Hmm. All right, we got a bridge going off this way. This all felt like a little bit of a offshoot of the path to begin with. Maybe not, though. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I am. This is where I was headed. Okay. Yeah, here we go. I did grab that shiny back here, yeah? Yes. Good. Wait. Hang on. Didn't see this, though. Eh. Don't grab.
I can make that jump, for sure. I'm careful. And... Get a bit of a running start for safety. There we go. Boy, I'm glad jumping is easier in this one. Granted, it means they can make harder jumps, but... Still. That's worthwhile. Uh, what am I hearing? Hey! Oh, it was you. Guys, come on. Stop it. Kojis. Not good, not good, not good! Woo! Close. It's a tough challenge. Just gotta weave through and then miss and then kill them, hopefully. There! Woo! Yeah, jeez. Stop it! So many arrows. Too many. Glad I came up here, though, because these two were going to be shooting at me otherwise. I see. Ooh, marionette soldier ashes. Those could be fun. Let them be a nuisance for someone else. I see you down there. Ah. Keep forgetting. My jumping attack is more horizontal now. Got to adjust to this moveset. Much more gardens and trails than I expected. And, like, graveyards. Odd choice for an academy layout, but sure. Gotta get used to my range. Here we go. This whole area is feeling super bloodborne right now. And I do not mind. I love how you can sense, you can kind of feel the presence of all of FromSoft's previous work, all of the previous Souls likes in this one. You can feel the presence of Dark Souls, you can feel some Demon Souls in there. Sekiro movement is involved. There's definitely like this is super bloodborne. It's great. And also dark out here. Haha. -ha! And there's more. Quit it. Both of you. Stop it. Ah, dog, please. Don't get hit, grabbed or hit. None of the above. Would you quit? Popping up out of the ground. Stay where you belong. Does no one remember how to be dead anymore? I feel like I heard the chimes of a... Yeah, you. Not you. You. Yes. Gotcha. Spectral Lance. Neat. I've been getting so many of these. So many toys. Just an absurd number of toys. Hmm. 
Might as well be thorough. Nope. I see ya. There we go. Go inside in a second, just making sure. I think we're good. I suppose I could get a grace fire around here. Feels like I'm due for one. Been wandering a ways. Could take a ride on this, but I don't want to yet. Uh, what is that? I see something going on back there. And I don't know if I like it. Okay. Well, here goes. Okay, you're beefy, but not so bad. Especially if I can just keep doing this to you. Whoops! Ow. Another gravity guy, huh? Nope. Ah, come on, I dodged. And you're done. There we go. Interesting. Gravity well, that's new. Come on. Nice. Appreciate it. This is a worthwhile little detour. Little miniature one. Alright, I think we're gonna have to ride this thing. This feels like such an easy way to die. I see, an, I see a shiny off in the distance over there, like I missed something, though. Maybe I can't reach it, but... That's definitely something I can... Well, here, we'll do the safe thing. Use. That broke, I think. It did. If I jump further at well... Or did it? No, that, that shiny is, uh, is an actual shiny on a body, I think. Okay, okay. See, I'm glad I checked. So that almost looked like something that I could probably survive. But apparently not. So where did I miss this? It must have just been like... Yeah, there we are. I'll just drop down here and it'll be fine. Not sure how I'm getting back up, but I'll figure that out later. Oh, there's three of them, I see. All right. A carrion knight helm. Cool. And armor. Oh, it's a full set. Awesome. If I wasn't so heavily loaded with a great shield... And a big halberd right now, I'd, uh, totally put it on. And maybe I still will. So that's how we're getting back over there. Okay. There was another shiny over here, though. Yes. And purple. I don't like the purple. I don't like the purple. Eh. What is it? For real, what is this? I guess this is the stone I dropped. Maybe it landed and it was safe. 
just hidden in the bushes. It sounded like it broke. I guess it's just the sound it makes. Haven't dropped one in a while. Here we are. What a good little detour. Okay. Let's go for a ride. Whoop. Oh boy, it goes way down too, huh? Now where's our exit? I do not want to miss it. Yep. Got there. Oof. A lot of verticality to this place. And darkness. Are you going to attack or are you going to run off? You have a sword. I think you're going to attack. There we are. The heck is this? Darts? Cool. Tense vibes around this place. Mostly all the darkness, I suppose. Let's go up here first. Hello. Hello. And... Nice. I could definitely jump on that and ride down. Ah, okay, so that's... That's how we're getting further down then. But not right now. I really feel like we're going to be due for a grace fire in the nearest future. Huh, almost didn't see that up there. Can I reach that, though, from here? Uh, no, no. So if there's a grace fire in the vicinity, I want to touch that first before doing... Here we go. Knew I couldn't be far off. Due for a rest. How are we doing on runes right now? Eh, not too bad. Getting up toward a level. Stats-wise, Vigor at 25 is good for now. I know I'm going to need to keep on moving that up as we go, just to keep up with enemy damage output, but I'm managing fine for now. Mind is definitely going to need to go up, clearly, because I want to start using spells more often. It feels like there's just two. There's only two stats that I don't want to put anything into. I guess Dexterity I don't need, so long as I can equip everything, I don't need more Dex. But, like, Faith for sure. More Faith so I can use more of these spells. Uh, strength is fine for the moment. There are some weapons that I'd like to be able to equip, uh, but those can wait a bit. Endurance is hanging in there, though. Like, I'd love for that to go up, too, so I can equip heavier armor with this great shield, but that'll probably need to wait. I feel like mind and faith and then maybe a little more vigor are probably what are going to need to be the main priorities for a little bit. That seems sensible. Maybe I should get, actually, the Dragon Breath is fun. I'm going to swap for a different fire spell that's not quite so mana evaporating. Because <laughs> the cast on that, like, okay, so the cast for the, this heal here, 18. It's decent. 14 for Flame Cleanse Me. 18 for Poison Mist, and I really don't feel like I'm actually going to use much of that uh, right now. Magic Fortification at 20. Probably won't use that immediately either, but we'll keep it on hand. Uh, 28 for dragon fire. So, okay, it's not the most expensive in the world, but I also just have so little FP. I have, like, less than 70, so it eats through a lot. Uh, Bestial Sling is nice and cheap, and Flame of Frenzy is cheap, too. Let's try swapping this out and clear this out as well, and just get, like, a cheaper fire spell. 11 for Flame Sling, 21 for Whirl of Flame...
Here, we'll go for Whirl, Whirl of Flame. We'll, we'll also try Flame of Frenzy, because uh, that may be just as good. We're just kind of sampling right now, you know? All right. So. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, two directions. Okay. I did just touch this thing, right? Yes, yes, I did. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now what's back here? Chest. Shiny. Sneak attack. Ah. There we are. Ooh, a lazuli robe. It really felt like for the first several weeks I was getting so little gear. And now it feels like it's just all over the place. I approve. And another cookbook. Awesome. Let's take this opportunity. One, to grab this. And I can inspect a scroll. Cool. I'll have to take that to Selen. Let's read a couple of descriptions for the things we've been picking up. I bet there's some good stuff in here. I don't think I read this last time. Boiled prawn. Boiled prawn meat, a prime specimen of plump and moist meat. True connoisseurs know how to keep from oversalting. Boosts physical damage negation for a certain duration. Oh, cool. The meat actually looks to have come from a crayfish. Not that it matters. It's delicious all the same. <laughs> That's great. Finally, like a soul's inventory item that looks appetizing like you'd want to eat it. Maybe the first time in the whole series. <laughs> uh, let me find some others. Rhea Lucaria Soldier Ashes. Uh, used to summon the spirits of three Rhea Lucaria Soldiers, a trio of spirits consisting of two disposable foot soldiers and their superior. The soldiers of Rhea Lucaria were also known as the Cuckoos. They were given free reign by the Academy to wage war as they pleased, and they were infamous for their rapacious ways. Maybe I did read that one before. What's, what's the other one I'd picked up? Oh, it was these. Uh, the Marionette Soldier Ashes. Finally, we got a name for them. Uh, spirits of Marionette Soldiers created to serve a sorcerer. These marionettes are archers, each equipped with a pair of bows. On the verge of falling apart, they are ill-disciplined and attack without warning. That could be pretty fun to throw... <laughs> to, uh, throw at my enemies for almost my entire FP bar. But still, could be fun. The blue-white wooden shield. Uh... Eat light and easy to handle, but cannot offer the damage negation of a true metal shield. The design said to represent the stars of the night sky portending fate. I feel like there's actually several gear pieces we've not read descriptions on. The Page Hood, a hood worn by pages who serve the nobility and are mindful to keep them out of harm's way. The unassuming sack-like appearance befits their unseen and unknown stature. The Finger Maiden Fillet, uh... Worn by maidens who serve the two fingers, the maidens live to serve a chosen tarnished, sharing their guidance and the wisdom of the two fingers. The guidance of grace would ensure that the pair be brought together, or at least such was the promise long ago. The Great Horned Headband. Worn by ancestral follower warriors, the ancestral followers kept, uh, keep their distance from the Erd Tree, awaiting new buds. They are certain to sprout from their very flesh and indeed their souls. The Imp Head. A head covering made from the largely unaltered head of an impish golem. Resembling a wolf, it holds trace amounts of lupine endurance. A Carrion Knight Helm. A helm of the enchanted knights that once served the Carrion royal family. The enchanted knights, anointed by the Lunar Queen, were all heroes of the highest honors, but fell into disarray with the decline of the royal family. The Twinned Helm. Uh, a helm depicting in twinned twins of gold and silver. The two known as D are inseparable twin. Oh, are inseparable twins. They are of two bodies and two minds, but one single soul. Not once do they stand together. Not one word do they speak to one another. Perhaps this armor longs to find its way to the other D. So there's another one. Interesting. Okay. It's a surprise. The Rhea Lucarian robe, worn by Rhea Lucaria's scholars of sorcery. Those who dedicate themselves to the study of glint stones formed from starry amber receive this modest yet elegant deep navy garb after making their vows of virtue and austerity. But with extended life, one is apt to forget old vows. The Lazuli Robe, 
worn by scholars of the Lazuli Conspectus, singular among the greater Rea Lucaria Academy. These scholars, who sought to master Carrion sorcery, instead learned to see the moon as equal to the stars. This robe and the hue of the full moon signifies their heresy. Ah, we've got a split then. Interesting. Okay, we read that stuff. I want to... How much of this, uh... Karian Knight stuff could I put on? The magic protection is similar to the Cuckoo Knights. Slightly better weight. Slightly less good physical protection. But also new and fancy. <laughs> and quite pretty. Uh... I'd wager there's not much of it I'm going to be able to put on. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Chest piece is almost definitely a no, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a little too heavy, I think. But so cool looking. I want it. Maybe I'll wear, like... Hmm, this Guardian Garb really feels like a good midpoint between, like, zero physical protection, protection and the better magic protection I get from these. I don't know, these are new, though. Could be fun. Yeah, sure. Why not? For a bit. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Uh. Wow. That was just a total hunch. Smithing stone. And that's it. Worth it. And cool. Man. So cool. What a gorgeous game. Okay. I tell you what, we went a little bit long yesterday. Since we've got us a great fire right here, let's uh, wrap it up for today, and then on Thursday we will keep on ascending. Uh, and then as soon as we run out of obvious paths to take, we will ride that thing down. <laughs> but we're probably going to be in here a while. It seems seems pretty big. Interesting. So we like we rode our way up through here round about here, I guess. And now we're just kind of like inside and ascending. It's going to be really hard to tell exactly like how big this place is and how far we are in it compared to the castle, which was still definitely very vertical, but a little more spread out. So you could kind of gauge your progress through it. That's fine. I do not mind being here a while. Been looking forward to this. Anyway, y'all, I will see you on Thursday for some more Elden Ring. Do take care and such. Goodbye.